Hi everyone, my name is Leah and welcome to the kitchen. Today is Chinese New Year, the year of the rabbit. A traditional dish in Chinese New Year is noodles. Why? Because noodles, that long length, represents longevity for a long life that the Chinese people like to wish. So for today's recipe, I'm going to be making Dan Dan noodles. Let's get started! For this recipe, we need a variety of ingredients as there are a few parts involved. We have a pork topping, your noodle base, and your bottom dan dan sauce. So we have wheat noodles, soy sauce, hoisin sauce, shaoxing cooking wine, some sugar, sesame paste, sui mi la kai, which is a pickled mustard green, five spice powder, chili oil, rice vinegar, sesame oil, some minced garlic, fresh bok choy, Sichuan peppercorns, some ground pork, and some scallions for the topping. Begin by thinly slicing some fresh scallions and setting aside for later. Next, add some Sichuan peppercorns to a mortar bowl and use a pestle to grind up the peppercorns until fine. Open a jar of sesame paste and stir to combine the separated liquid with the rest of the paste until smooth. In a small bowl, add three tablespoons of the stirred sesame paste. Next, add three tablespoons of soy sauce. Then add two teaspoons of sugar, a half teaspoon of five spice powder, a half teaspoon of the ground Sichuan peppercorns, two tablespoons of chili oil, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, and two teaspoons of minced garlic. Stir all the ingredients together until combined to make the dandan dan sauce. Add two tablespoons of sesame oil to a large wok. Next, add one teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorns to the oil and heat the oil over medium heat, allowing the peppercorn flavor to infuse. Once the oil is heated and infused, scoop out the peppercorns. Then add one pound of ground pork to the seasoned sesame oil. Cook the pork over medium heat using a wooden spoon to break the meat into smaller pieces. Add two tablespoons of Shaoxing cooking wine to the cooked pork and stir to combine. Next, add one tablespoon of hoisin sauce and stir again. Measure in one teaspoon of five spice powder and stir until incorporated. Add a half cup of the suimi lakai and stir to combine with the pork. In a separate pot, add one pound of Asian wheat noodles to some boiling water and cook according to the packaging directions. A few minutes into cooking, add a handful of bok choy leaves to cook with the noodles. And then remove the bok choy once wilted and place to the side. To assemble your bowls of dandan noodles, spoon some of the prepared dandan sauce on the bottom of a small bowl. Next, add some of the cooked and drained noodles on top of the sauce. Place a few leaves of the bok choy on the side of the noodles in the bowl. Spoon a few spoonfuls of the prepared pork topping. Garnish your bowl with a handful of chopped scallions. Repeat the same process for more bowls of noodles, adding each ingredient layered on top of the next one. In the end, you will stir your noodles all together in their bowls to enjoy your dish. I hope you all have a very healthy and happy Chinese New Year and enjoy some Dan Dan noodles. Now what we're going to do to enjoy our dandan dan noodles is take our chopsticks and mix everything together. If you're interested in my recipe for dandan dan noodles, you can click the link in the description box below to visit my website, leahnoelcooking.com. 
There you'll find all my recipes written out, photos, videos, and more. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more delicious recipes.